Hello Central Kentucky. If you're in the process of buying or selling a home in Georgetown, Scott County, Kentucky, or if you're just curious about the current market there, you've come to the right place. Welcome to our update of the latest local real estate trends as of October 2023. We're going to unveil the five real estate indicators that are shaping the housing market in Georgetown, Scott County, and how each impacts buyers and sellers. By the time we're through, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of who benefits given the current market conditions. We won't leave it there though. We'll also cover what buyers and sellers need to know to make the best real estate decisions. And we're off. Let's start with the first indicator, month supply of inventory. This indicator tells us how long the current inventory of properties in Georgetown Scott County would last at the current rate of sales. In October 2023, the month supply of inventory stood at 3.75 months, indicating that if no new properties were added and sales remained steady, it would take three and three quarter months, or around 112 days, to sell all the properties on the market. Compared to the previous month, the month supply of inventory fell 1.1% indicating a very slight decrease in the time homes are on the market. Looking back a year, it was up by 33.9% or an additional 28 days. Six months supply of inventory represents a balanced market, favoring neither buyers nor sellers. With the current 3.75 month supply of inventory, buyers still find that they have more time to consider the available homes. For sellers, it indicates that the market is still moving at a reasonable pace. This presents a favorable environment for sellers looking to make a move in the current market conditions. Now, let's shift our focus to the current inventory. This indicator gives us a snapshot of the number of homes currently available for sale. It's important to note that the number of homes on the market can vary as it depends on when the report is generated. By consistently using the same day each month, we can establish meaningful month-to-month -month trends. As of October 15, there were 263 homes available on the market in Georgetown Scott County. This represents a 2.6% decline compared to the previous month. When compared to last year, we observe a 2.7% increase in the number of available homes. The fact that there are 263 homes on the market provides buyers with about the same range of options to consider compared to last month. Buyers are just as likely to find a home that perfectly matches their preferences and requirements. But what about sellers? Sellers might be wondering if a lower inventory is beneficial. This situation can be a double-edged sword. While a lower inventory means slightly less competition among sellers, this doesn't necessarily mean they're at a disadvantage. With the right pricing and marketing approach, sellers can still stand out in the crowd. Even with the decrease in current inventory, this indicator continues to favor sellers. Stay tuned as we delve into the remaining indicators, including the most requested indicator, providing you with a comprehensive overview of the Georgetown Scott County real estate market. Next, the existing home sales volume measures the total sale price value of properties whose sales contracts were completed during the month. In October 2023, a total of $19.8 million worth of property sold in Georgetown Scott County. This represents a 23.8% decrease compared to the previous month. When compared to last year's $23.6 million worth of sold property, we observe a drop of 16.2%. For buyers, this suggests that while there's still considerable activity in the market, there is less competition because there are fewer buyers. For sellers, this means that they're operating in a market that's steadying itself. While it may not be as red hot as it once was, it's also not in a state of freefall. It's important to note that the existing home sales volume indicator provides a gauge of the market activity during this period and favors neither buyers nor sellers. Now, let's turn our attention to the median sales price, the most requested real estate indicator. Median sales price provides insights into the midpoint price of homes sold in a specific area during a given month. Unlike the average sales price, the median sales price eliminates the influence of exceptionally high-priced homes, giving us a more accurate representation of the market. In October 2023, 
The median sales price for a home in Georgetown, Scott County, stood at $342,700. This reflects an increase of 21.1% compared to the previous month and is up 25.5% over last year. For home buyers, the increase in the media sales price makes homes less affordable given the current interest rates. It may also discourage some buyers, which could decrease competition. Sellers might be wondering what this increase in median price means. This is an encouraging sign for anyone looking to sell their home. It means that despite fluctuations, the market has retained its value, and sellers are still operating in a market where their property is likely to hold its worth. The October 2023 median sales price is more than $34,000 above the average median sales prices over the last year. So, with the increase in median sales price, it's a reminder that this is still a seller's market. Before we summarize the five key indicators for October 2023 and reveal who benefits from the overall market in Georgetown Scott County, let's look at our last indicator. The continuous days on market indicator provides insights into the average number of days it takes for a listing to go under contract. This calculation considers the period from when a property is listed until it is under contract subtracting any days when the property was off the market. In October 2023, the continuous days on market for Georgetown Scott County stood at 100 days. This represents a notable increase of 118.3% compared to the previous month, indicating a much slower pace of homes going under contract. When compared to last year, we observe a 203% increase in the continuous days on market. For buyers, with a slowing market, homes are staying on the market longer, which means you don't have to act as swiftly when you find a property you love. With longer days on market, the competition among buyers decreases. For sellers, it suggests the market is moving slower. Longer days on market can mean more time, effort, and costs spent on property maintenance and holding costs. A bit more patience might be required compared to the previous month. This shift in the continuous days on market highlights the evolving aspects of the real estate market. The indicator favors sellers because of the sustained demand in the market. Now, let's recap the insights we've gathered about the key local housing market indicators for October 2023 in Georgetown, Scott County, Kentucky. We determined that the month's supply of inventory favors sellers indicating a low supply of homes available on the market. This creates an advantageous environment for sellers in terms of pricing and competition. Current inventory favors sellers with inventory holding steady. The existing home sales volume, on the other hand, favors neither buyers nor sellers. The median sales price, reflecting the midpoint price of homes sold, also favor sellers. The increase in the median sales price indicates a market where property is likely to hold its worth. Lastly, the continuous days on market indicator shows that homes are selling at a fast pace. This favors sellers who can find buyers quickly. Considering these key indicators collectively, the overall market for October 2023 in Georgetown, Scott County, Kentucky favors sellers. Before we sign off, we want to provide some practical guidance for both buyers and sellers. Buyers. Inventory is low and comparable to last month, meaning that you now have about the same number of homes from which to choose. Mortgage interest rates are up. When interest rates jump, decisive buyers have a narrow window to capitalize on less competition while others may pause to consider. Remember the adage, marry the home and date the rate. If you find your home, you can potentially refinance as rates settle back down. Prices are up considerably from last month. With low inventory and strong demand, it's likely prices will remain high. Given the competitive market with low inventory and rising prices, act decisively when you find the right house. Sellers. Timing the market is nearly impossible. The best we can do is read and react to the data available. Prices are strong, with low inventory levels, well-positioned listings, with a great mix of price and condition sell quickly. Days on market is 100 days, which means homes are still selling quickly. Have your realtor run the numbers based on the market and see if that achieves your financial goals. It's best to act now if you're ready to sell. If you like this market update, share it with a friend and please reach out if you have any questions or suggestions. 
Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge you need to make informed real estate decisions in Georgetown Scott County. Each month, we explore the latest local real estate trends of central Kentucky counties. In addition to Georgetown Scott County, we provide updates on Frankfort Franklin County, Lexington Fayette County, Lawrenceburg Anderson County, Versailles Woodford County, and Nicholasville Jessamine County. And if you're interested in a broader perspective, be sure to watch our monthly national real estate metrics videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to providing you with more insights next month. Thanks for watching.